Ok. Ok. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Fine, fine. I was talking with Francisco first. Okay. Very good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. Oh, good. How was your day? Not yet. It, good, good. Very good. good very, very good. Okay. The Monday always is very nice. All right. That's nice. Great. And how was the weekend? Uh, only rest in my home. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, I think. And how about you, um, Francisco? How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm very good. Great. How was the weekend? Very relaxing. I rest in my home. Okay. <laughs> very good. Yes. Yeah, it's nice to have some time at home, right? Yes, I was. Rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, teacher. I was working in a platform. In Great. The <laughs> nice. Did you finish? Yeah, uh, only a final exam. Rest. Okay. Very good. You're almost done. Yes, teacher. Great. Okay. And let's... Good evening, Adonai. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. And you? Very good. Very good day for me. Okay, nice. That's pretty cool. And how was the weekend? I'm relaxed. I rest in my home and working in the platform. Excellent. So what section are you in? I'm finished on the course. Oh, you finished. In the final exam, yes. Great. Yeah. Okay, excellent. That's pretty nice because um, this is our last week, so it's better to finish as soon as we can. Yeah, I try to learn more in this week. Very good. So do you have any questions, any doubts about any of the topics? No, for this moment, teacher. Okay. So everything's clear. Yeah, for this moment, yes. Okay, nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And what's the weather like where you live? I live in Marliot City. The weather is in this moment. Mm, I think so. It's cold. Mm, so, so cold. Okay, kind of cold. Yeah. All right. But it hasn't rained. No, no in this moment. Okay. And how about there, Rodrigo? Uh it's the same the same thing here in Santa Tecla. It's, it's okay. All right. It's not raining. It's not raining. It's a little bit cold. All right. Great. I'm not sure. So let's see. Good evening, Hilda. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm good, teacher. And you? Great. Thank okay. you. How was okay. the weekend? Ah, it's a little tired. Oh, it was tired? You had a work? Yeah. No, no. Uh, well, yes, in the Saturday of in the morning. Okay. But in the Saturday in the afternoon, free and Sunday too. Mm -hmm. All right, that's nice. Yes. Did yes, you do teacher. anything special? Mm, nothing. Only in yesterday, I I was running. I practiced. Oh, okay in the at Bicentenario Park. Great. Yes. Only okay. that ah, family me, moment family. <laughs> All right. That's yeah. very nice. 
Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Janari. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very fine, teacher. Okay. I, I worked I worked all day long at 6 30 p.m. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm a little tired, but just for for the work. Okay. For my job. Mm -hmm. And how was the weekend? It was great, teacher. I was uh, at home all okay. weekend. Nice. Uh, but the but Saturday I I went go when yes, uh, went, went. Went. Mm -hmm. I I went to San Salvador because I live in Ciudad Versailles, San Juan Pico. Oh okay. Uh, uh -huh, uh, and on Sunday. Yep. Uh, I went to shopping. Shop. You went shopping. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Very good. Yes, teacher. Thank you. So, what do you do, Janar? Uh, right now, uh, oh, um, I'm a count, and okay. so I, I'm, I prepare the balance sheet. I, I am supervisor for my, uh. Uh, from auxiliaries, okay. Of auxiliaries, mm -hmm. yep. uh, so and all uh, activities respect uh, account. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Yes. Just that, teacher. Just that. Okay. Great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And how about the platform, January? Did you have any time? Uh, actually, uh, uh, I, I don't. I don't have question, but but uh, um, uh, llevo la unidad cuatro. Okay. I'm in section mm -hmm. four. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All right. Section four. Just yes. try to continue working because remember that um, this week is the last one, so we mm -hmm. only have four days to go. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good evening, Vicky Martinez. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine and tired. Oh, yeah. Did you have to yes, work teacher. today? Yes, teacher. And oh. traffic, hard traffic. Oh, yeah, that's horrible. Mm -hmm. So, are you from San Salvador? Uh, no, in Soyapango. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic. From there too. Salvador to Soyapango. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's hard to travel, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah. And how was your week? weekend? I'm fine. Fine. Okay. Thanks. Nice. What did you do? Um, I visit my grandmother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. And how about yes, the platform, teacher. Vicky? Did you have any time to work on it? Uh, yes, for um, section five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're in section five, five already. Yes, for knowledge check. Nice. So you're mm -hmm. almost done. That's great. Very good yes. news. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good evening, Gladys. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Very good. So how was the weekend? Uh, I I visited um, uh, I visited my family. Okay. Very good. So, um, where are you from, Gladys? Uh, I'm from Apopa. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
Great. And how about the platform? Gladys, did you have any time to work on it? Um, fine. Okay. You're in section five already. That's uh, fine. All right. So just keep going, okay? You're doing pretty well. Okay. All right, so I think we may start now. Let me just get my presentation. Here we have it. So welcome everybody. We are starting our last week. So we only have four more classes and we are done with the course. You go to pre-intermediate too, okay? So um, let's start by reviewing the comparative adjectives. So I know you have studied this, but I want to just make sure that you remember how to compare using adjectives. So let's see, um, in the first case, we have the adjective big. If I want to compare with another thing, um, what adjective do I use? Bigger bigger, right? So, um, well, we add ER to the adjectives in order to make them comparative. Then we have, oh, this is messy. Goodness. Okay, there we have. So we have also the adjective old, which becomes older, nice, which becomes nicer, pretty, prettier, cheap, cheaper. In the case of expensive, we use more, okay? So we say more expensive. Good becomes better because it's irregular. Bad becomes worse. So please, everybody repeat, big, bigger. Big, big, big bigger. Old, older. Old, older. Nice, nicer. Nice, nicer. Nice. Pretty, prettier. Pretty, prettier. prettier. Cheap, cheaper. Cheap, cheap cheaper. cheaper. Expensive, more expensive. Expensive, expensive more expensive. expensive. Good, better. Good, Good better. better. Bad, worse. Bad, Bad worse. worse. Okay, now can you make some examples using comparative adjectives? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Any ideas about an example? My house is bigger. My house than... is bigger than? Um, house my oh, my friends than my friend's house ah than my friend's house my house is bigger than my friend's house very good another example please let's see Rodrigo, can you make one, please? Yes. Um, it's older than... Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. That guy is older than me. That guy is older than me. Very good. Yeah. Excellent, Rodrigo, thank you. Let's see another one. Adonai, please. Okay, teacher. Nisser, but. Okay, what is the meaning of nisser? Nicer. Nice. Um, nice sería como agradable. Agradable. Yeah, nicer, como más agradable, más bonito. Yeah. 
Ok. Ok. My car is nicer than my car of, of my brother. Ok, my car is nicer than my brother's car. My brother's car. Brother's car. Excellent. Thank you, Adonai. Ok, so that's the way to make sentences using the comparative adjectives, right? We use the verb be, am, is, or are. And then the comparative adjective plus then, then you add a second thing that you are comparing to. So in order to practice, um, this is what we are going to do. We are going to talk about cities in towns. So what do you prefer, living in a big city or living in a small town? Let me send you to the breakout rooms for you to talk about the differences between those two. Um, so maybe you could say living in a city is more relaxing than living in a town or the other way around. Or um, you could say cities are more expensive than towns and some other ideas that you may have, okay? You have to compare living in a city and living in a town. Is that clear? Yep or no? Yes, it's clear. Yes, okay. teacher. All right, so let me send you to the breakout rooms and you are going to have a couple of minutes to make some comparisons between living in a city and living in a town. So please go ahead and accept the invitation. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what is the activity? Because my audio, um, I... I you have you have to to say phrases uh, in comparative mode between to live in the small town or the big city. For example, uh, it's better to live in the, uh, the life is more uh, better in the big city because it's uh, cheaper than a small town. Mm, the comparativity. Mm. Cheaper, nicer, for mm -hmm. example, the in the small town, the small town is sh cheaper than the the big city. Oh, another or, example uh, is is uh, the people the the small city is very no, the people the the big city is nice than nicer the nicer. Mm -hmm. Nicer, it's yeah. nicer. Mm -hmm. Yes. City, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the food uh -huh. in, um, in the town is uh, saludable. ¿Cómo sería? Mm. Healthier. Healthier. Uh -huh. okay, the food thanks. in the town. In the town. Is... Healthier. Yes, it's healthier. healthier than city. Than city, yes. Okay. Mm, what more, what more, what more? Uh, the nature is... Nature. nature. The, na the nature... Mm, Naturaleza. Sí, sería noiser. Ah, okay. Sería more so noiser. More noiser. Oh, no, noiser. Oh, noiser. You say noiser. Ah, okay. Only noiser, teacher. Yep, noisier. 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 Because the adjective is noisy, right? Then we change ah, okay. it to noisier. Noisier. Ah, okay. 
downtown. Down the down the town, correct. Downtown or down the town? In that case, you could say down the town. Down the town. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, Hagamos otra de the city. The city is or oh, the town is more relaxing. Uh -huh. Relax. Mm -hmm. Pero I'm at the town. Uh -huh. Pero relaxing. Eso tendrá. Si no, lo puede no. ver. Sí, no me... Do you have any questions? Relax. Relax. More relaxing. Ah, okay. ING in this case. Eh, sí, es que en ese caso tenemos la forma relax, por ejemplo, de decir I'm relaxed. Uh -huh. Que yo estoy relajado, pero si estoy hablando de algo que es relajante, entonces digo relaxing. Podemos usar en este caso el uso del el ING en, en esta situación, pero sería en este en específico nada más. Eh, sí, hay un par de adjetivos que van en ING, por ejemplo, interesting, relaxing. Y... Mm. Yeah, there are a couple of them. Ah, okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. More relaxing. The, the city. Se sería the town. Mm. town. Down. Yes. Uh -huh. Other uh, ad, other advantage for the city. But it's more expensive. The city is more is more is more expensive than than town. Okay, I mm -hmm. agree. Okay, the city, the city is more expensive, expensive than town. Okay, two, four, six. We have six. Yeah, I think another comparative is the houses are more spacious than in the city. All right, so let me hear some of your ideas. Let's see, um, who wants to share? So what do you think about living in a city and living in a town? Let's see, Hilda, can you tell me something about that? Um, for example, um, the people or small, for the people. Because okay. the people in small city are nicer than a people in big city. Okay, very good, Hilda. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And let's see, Janay, what can you tell me about living in a city and living in a town? Uh, for example, the houses in the city are, are smaller than town. Yep, that's right. Thank you, Janay. Yes. Big. Mm -hmm. Do you have another idea to add? Um, the town is more relaxing than the city. Very good. Francisco, um, do you have another one? Yes, the city is more expensive than town. Definitely. Let's see another one, Roxana. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Town yeah. or life is quieter than in the city. Yep. You are right. Thank you, Roxana. And one last idea from Adonai. 
the the town is more farther the, than the city. Okay. It's farther than the city. Yes. Okay. All right. So now let's practice with a conversation. So what are we going to do? Well, I need you to get the answers to these two questions. What what does Rita's brothers uh, what does Rita's brother do and what does Rita's sister do? So please listen to the conversation and get the answer to these two questions. So let's see. Are you ready to talk about your family? Can you listen to that? I want you to try yes. this. Okay, pretty well. So please pay attention to the conversation and get the answers for those two questions. Conversation, I'm practicing in class. Asking about families. Part A, listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well. My sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. All right. Did you get the answers to the questions? I think so. All right. So let me just get back to the come to the presentation and tell me what does Rita's brother do? He's a photographer. Yeah, photographer. Yeah. Photographer. Um. Yep. Yeah. What kind of photographer? Did you get that? Wildlife. Exactly. He's a wildlife photographer. Do you understand the meaning of wildlife? Wildlife is the pronunciation. Eh, um, vida silvestre or salvaje. Okay. Oh. Yeah, like animals and stuff. Okay. All right, and how about Rita's sister? What does she do? She works she for works. The, uh, uh, the government. government. For the government? Okay. It says she's working in a secret mission, right? The project. Secret yes. project. Yeah, that's right. All right, so now it's time to listen to the rest of the conversation and answer the following two questions. So we have, where do Rita's parents live? And what do Rita's parents do, okay? Now let me play okay. the rest of the conversation and you have to answer those two questions now. Page 31, exercise three, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, did you get the answers? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yep. sir. Okay, so tell me, where do Rita's parents live? In Austin, Texas. Yep. And they live in Austin, Texas. You're right. They live in Austin, Texas. And what do Rita's parents do? Her mother is a teacher. Okay, her mother is and a teacher. And the father is... Um, father is a carpenter, carpenter. and her, pa her father is a carpenter. Yep, that's right. Okay, pretty well. You're doing pretty well with listening skills. 
That's very nice. So now let's talk a little bit about family members. Um, what family members do you know? Let's see. Parents. Cousins. Okay, Cousins. parents. Grandmother. Cousins. Grandmother. Grandparents. Grandparents. Wives. Sister, brother. Wife, sister. Uncle. Brother, husband. uncle, husband, aunt. aunt, daughter, daughter, any other niece, niece, brother in law, sister yep. in law, brother in law, sister in law, mother in law, okay, nephew. Sorry, did you say anything? Nephew. Oh, nephew. Okay, thank you. Nephew. Any others to add? Siblings. Siblings. Very well. I think that's pretty much it, right? So do you understand the meaning of all of those words? Uh, what's the meaning sibling? Sibling, it includes brothers and sisters. So normally when you say brothers, it's only boys. Then you have mm -hmm. sisters for only girls. But if you have both brothers and sisters, mm. you could say you have siblings. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No? Okay, so please repeat. No. Parents. 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 Cousins. Cousins. Grandmother. Grandmother. Grandparents. 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 Wife. 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 Sister. 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 Brother. 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 Uncle. 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 Husband. 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 Aunt. 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 Daughter. 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 Niece. 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 Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Nephew. 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 Siblings. 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 Okay, pretty well. So let's continue. My turn. About the, tell me. Why is it different in the pronunciation and the uh, aunt? The, yeah, they are almost the same. There's not much difference. Yep, they sound the same. Okay. okay. All right, so um, let's talk a little bit about the present continuous. To start with that, we need to know how to make the, I, the verbs ing, right? In the ing form. So, um, well, the general rule would be to to just add ing to the verbs, right? So we have the base form of the verb plus ing. For example, in the case of cook, which becomes cooking, right? Tell me another one. Run. Run? Oh, but that one is Running. a different rule. Let's keep it for the other rule. Um, how about you give me another example? Walk. Sleep. 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 Exactly. Sleeping. Yes, it becomes sleeping. Do we have another example? Walk. 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 Walking. 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 So pretty well, as you see, we just need to add ing, right? 
cook, then we add mm -hmm. ing, and we have cooking, sleep, sleeping, walk, walking, wash, washing, um, watch, watching, um, write, writing, and so on, right? Okay, so another rule that we have for making ing verbs is for the verbs that end in e, for example, great, I just men mentioned, right? In those cases, you need to drop the E and then you add ING. So you have write and it becomes writing like this. So you see, you drop or you delete the E, then you add ING. Give me another example, please. Loose. What is it? Loose. 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 Yep, you say loose, losing. Losing. Another one, please. Any ideas? So how about drive, drive, driving. So you see, we delete or we erase the E, then we add ING. Another rule to follow would be for the verbs that end in, in Y. Oh no, in IE, for example. So in these cases, you, drop or you change the IE for so in those cases you drop the IE and you add Y plus ING for example when you say um, die it becomes dying okay also the verb lie it becomes lying. So we have to make this change. Here you have IE and instead you write a Y. Then you add ING. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yep. Yes, teacher. Also, if we have a combination of a consonant, vowel consonant in a word or well, in a verb, then we need to double the last consonant and also add ing. For example, in the verb that somebody mentioned previously, mm -hmm. run, right? Run, run, it becomes running. Stop. Stop, mm -hmm. stopping. Any other example? How about begin? Begin beginning delete delete would be with e right delete deleting mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. okay okay all right and i think that's pretty much yeah. it so those are the rules we have for making ing verbs are they clear do we have any questions no questions mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on. So when do I use the present continuous? Well, I use the present continuous when I'm talking about an action that is happening now at the moment of, speak of speaking or something that is true at this moment, right? For example, at this time, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Also, you could use the present continuous for talking about the near future. How come? For example, if I ask you, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? And you may say, well, I'm working all day. I'm working all day. Or I'm going to a party. I'm visiting my grandma, okay? 
So you took it for either talking about the present, you refer to the present, something that is happening now, or to the future, but only near future. And what would be the structure that we use for making um, present continuous sentences? So first of all, we need a subject. Then we add the verb be in its forms um, is or are, of course. So we need um, is or are, depending on the subject. Then you need to add the verb in ing plus a complement. That would be it. So how about we make some examples? Let's see. So I already gave you one. I am talking to you. Tell me another one, please. I listening to you. <laughs> Very good. So you say, I'm listening to you. What else is happening now? Mm -hmm. I'm learning. Okay, let's just turn to we. Um, so we use different subjects, right? So we are learning English. Okay, give me another example, please. I am watching my cell phone. I am, um, in that case, it's better to, to use the verb looking, looking at my cell phone. Looking or checking, right? Looking at my cell phone or checking my cell phone. Okay, how about another example? Let's make one using she. Let's see, Marina, do you have one? Uh, she drinking, she drinking water. Okay, she's drinking water. Okay, so something very important when using the present continuous is to not forget about the verb be, okay? So if whenever you are making sentences in the present continuous, you need the verb be. Either am, is, or are. It mm -hmm. could be in the complete way or it could be in the contracted form, but you always need it. Siempre, aunque use la contracción, se tiene que escuchar esa... Eh, Ese verbo to be, ¿verdad? I'm. No se puede decir I listening. Tiene que ser I'm listening to you. I'm. Or we're learning. We're learning English. I'm looking at my cell phone. She's drinking. She's drinking. Que no se nos olvide utilizar el verb be. Y en cualquiera de las tres formas, dependiendo del sujeto. Ok. Is it clear? Do we have any questions? No questions? It's clear, teacher. Um, si está claro? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, so let me just give you a couple of minutes for you to go to the breakout rooms and make a couple of examples. So I need you to pay attention to everything that's happening around. <laughs> Cualquier cosa que esté pasando a, a su alrededor. Tal vez está pasando por ahí un bus, está alguien viendo televisión. Fíjese en lo que está pasando a su alrededor y lo comenta con los compañeros, ¿ok? So, let me send you to the breakout rooms. We're going to have um, around two minutes.
Uh, my father was, is watching TV. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and Hilda? My daughter is watching TV. <laughs> yeah. And me? I yeah. am waiting alone. I am waiting alone for my family. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, it's great. Well, you maybe understand. you can just try to make some more examples. It doesn't matter if there's nothing happening around you, but just make some random examples. Okay. 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 The other thing is that we get to to happen something. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you make it happen. <laughs> okay. Okay, Vicky. My dog is barking. Barking. Mm -hmm. Okay, this new word for me. Barking. It's uh, ladrar. Yeah. Ladrar. Right? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. In... And I can hear you. I can hear you. Something's uh, happening, Hilda. Uh, <laughs> you're not alone. Nothing wrong with me. Oh, okay. Then that is brother watching mute. Mute. Other mm -hmm. in your case, Alnay? Only that. <laughs> Only my brother is cleaning the <laughs> phone. All the people are sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Adonai. All, all, all rest Adonai, of the family. Adonai Adonai parents. Families <laughs> are, are sleeping, sleeping in this moment. <laughs> okay. Sleeping. You say Adonai's family is is sleeping. Is. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Family is sleeping. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. In your case, Francisco? Uh, nothing. I am alone in the apartment. Really? Only the gods. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Only the gods. <laughs> <laughs> and what are the what gods doing? <laughs> I don't know. No, no. <laughs> oh, but you're writing. So the cat that. is hiding, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, but I, you I, writing uh, all the sentences. I, I I am writing the sentences for the uh -huh, uh -huh. for the job for the. <laughs> Francisco writing is writing. Yes, is writing. Who is writing the sentences? Someone else? Just that. Okay. Only that. <laughs> Only that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we're getting back soon. Just um, try making random examples, maybe. If there's nothing happening around you, you could just, you know, okay. make some more examples. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe I got some for you. Repeat the example. I am listening the class. Oh. Yeah, do whatever. Mm -hmm. The first. Or she is crying. My daughter is crying. Your pets are Okay. And the other, we are talking with with use, as it is. Uh, we are talking 
Where? Um, well, if you want to say that you are talking to each other, maybe. Estamos hablando entre nosotras. Uh -huh. We're talking yeah. to each other. We are talking. We, in, in, we're talking to each other. To each other. Mm -hmm. I am writing the sentences. Yes. Writing. Okay. Writing. A su alrededor y de ahí hacer oraciones con eso. For example, uh -huh. my wife is cooking now. Uh -huh. uh, podría ser, I am working in the morning. Hello. So Sylvia, we um, we use the present continuous when talking about things that are happening now. So for example, now I'm talking to you, you are listening to me, right? So we are receiving a class. Se utiliza para cosas que pasan en el momento, okay? Lo que está pasando en este momento que estoy hablando. Ah, ok, no es eh, como, ajá, no es como... No es como el present simple, que el present simple ah, sí es para las rutinas. Okay. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, teacher, thank you. All right, you're welcome. So let me hear some of the examples. Let's see, Rodrigo. Go ahead, please. I'm very, I have to tell you something that uh, they told me. Yeah, just tell me uh, any of the examples you made with your group. Uh, okay. Uh, Ilda was uh, uh, hearing the, her dog, and okay. uh, the Vicky uh, was uh, hearing the, her daughter uh, because uh, she was watching the Netflix. Okay. Very good. Thank That's, you, Rodrigo. Okay. Carlos Cruz, can you tell me what's happening around you? Okay. My wife is cooking a lunch. Okay. Cooking my dog, my dog is scratching his ear. Mm -hmm. And my daughter is looking a uh, cell phone. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. Francisco, now tell us about um, the things that are happening around you. Oh, I don't know. The dog is sleeping in the apartment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I, I am studying English. Excellent. Mm, I am drinking water. Okay, pretty well. Janari, it's your turn. Okay, teacher. Uh, in my case, my son is playing. My son is playing with the cat. Okay. Uh, and my brother is watching news. Mm -hmm. yeah, just that. Just that. I'm drinking milk. Okay. Excellent, Janai. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Adonai, tell me about your examples. Adonai Portillo. I'm sorry, teacher. Okay. Um, my dog is barking in this moment. Mm -hmm. And my brother is cleaning the house in this moment. All right. Very good. Hilda Alvarado. Yes, teacher. Can you give me some more examples? My daughter, my daughter is watching Netflix, mm -hmm. the specific uh, the Mother Family program. Okay. Yes, and um, uh, nothing around, around uh, 
me only my daughter because my husband my son is in another place okay they are in another yeah. place i am in i am i am studying english all right thank you hilda okay vicky can you add some more examples please yes teacher my father is watching tv okay um my mom is ironing or ironing 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 mm -hmm. and my dog is barking okay good job Mickey. thank you gladys can you tell me some more sentences okay my my husband is playing video game yep my children are watching tv okay I am writing the sentence. You're writing the sentences. Okay. Thank you, Gladys. Marina, it's your turn. Yes. Um, my pets are playing. Yep. Um, my daughter watch TV. Washing, no. Is watching? Is watching TV. Okay. Um, I am listening the class. You're listening to the class. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Marina. And how about we listen you, to teacher. Roxana? Okay. My daughter is watching a movie. Okay. And my husband is drinking coffee. Yep, that's it. Um, yes. Okay. okay, so how about um, Silvia? Silvia, would you like to make some examples? No sé si quiere intentar hacer un par de ejemplos. Yes, teacher. Okay, go um, ahead. My, my daughter, eh, Head or heat? What is comer? Heat. Head. Um, heat. Heat. What do comer. you mean? Comer? Eat. Eat. Uh -huh. My daughter eats. Uh, uh, dinner. My daughter is dinner. eating dinner, you say. Eating okay. dinner. Yes. yes so uh, go ahead. <laughs> um, my my um, my my son son brother my son a uh, watching watching movie a uh, comedy. Okay, watching a comedy. Excellent. <clears throat> Thank you, Sylvia. So remember, um, for making sentences in the present progressive or the present continuous. We use first the subject, then we need the verb be, right? Don't forget about it, please. You have to use am, is, or are, and then you add a verb in the ing. I am playing, you are listening, we are taking a class, they are using their cell phones, um, let's see, um, she is buying some um, drinks, they are going to the park, for instance. But remember, please, you need to use the verb be, then the verb in ing, okay? All right, okay. do we have okay. any questions, okay. any doubts? Is it, okay. Is it all right? No, teacher. Okay. okay. Yes. All right, right. so right. just remember that this is our last week, so we must finish with the, all the work in the platform. Um, well, at last on Friday, on, I mean Thursday, okay? Because the course finishes on okay. Thursday. Okay. So please keep on working. Remember that now we, you have to be in section number five already. Deberíamos estar en la sección cinco. El que pueda terminar, por favor, hágalo, porque ya solo tenemos cuatro días. Recordemos que, eh, aunque ya las inscripciones se están dando, 
igual si no ha completado el 80% como mínimo en la plataforma, no podría inscribirse en el siguiente curso. Así es que hay que trabajar ahí okay. un poquitín esta semana para terminar toda la sección 5 y así pues ya estamos para el próximo intermedio 2, ¿verdad? Ok. Yes. okay teacher. All right. So take care and have a good night. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Good night, too. Good night, good night, good night people. Thank you.